Putting in place a daily stock market analysis routine will greatly improve your chances of success when investing in the stock market. How's it going guys? Ryan here with another video and today we're talking about stock market analysis routines that you can perform daily to help improve your chances of success in the stock market. But before we get into that, if you haven't done already, please hit subscribe if you want to see a lot more of this kind of content and hit like if you enjoyed this video. Remember, leave any comments, queries or questions in the comments section below. And without further ado, let's get straight into it. And as I mentioned before, we're talking about stock market analysis daily routines. And for me, I work full time. So as a result, I need to base my routine around my work life. So I put certain measures in place so that my work life and my investing life don't sort of clash because the worst thing that can happen is you're tied up and stressed over your investments whilst you're also working and that's distracting you from your priorities in your workplace. That is something you do not want to happen and it can ultimately result you in you getting fired uh, potentially. So that is something you want to try to avoid. So having a good and a rigid routine in place that you perform every morning will assist you in not having that circumstance occur. And for me, I have a rigid routine, but at the same time, I incorporate it into my day so that it's just like second nature to me and it's relatively relaxing because reading about stocks and investments and the economy and what's going on in the world is something that I genuinely enjoy doing. So for me, putting a routine in place that effectively allows me to do stock market analysis but enjoy myself at the same time is incredibly important. So basically what happens, the first thing I do when I get up is I will turn my phone on and I'll look at my stocks. And basically what I'm looking for immediately is to see on my watch list out of the stocks in my portfolio and other stocks that I'm just generally watching on my other watch lists, has there been any announcements overnight whilst I've been asleep? Generally it's not the case, but if I've slept in one day or for whatever reason, I'm asleep uh, just before the market's going to open. Normally announcements come out during that period of time and you'll often see even after market when you might have clocked off for the day uh, an announcement's occurred in the evening and you haven't noticed it until the following morning. So getting straight on top of those things is by far one of the most important factors. If you're investing long term, you're waiting for those critical items and you want to make your investment decisions based on the reports, the facts, the documentation and what's going on with the stock specifically that you hold so that you make the correct investment decision. So I get up, I check those sorts of things. If everything's all well, then I'll head straight to my computer. And effectively what I will do is obviously open up Facebook, see what's going on, that sort of thing. I open up Twitter and Twitter's a really, really good spot that I find out what's sort of happening. What are the whispers going in, uh, going on, sorry, in the investing world? Because this is where I follow uh, other investors, other traders, and I can see exactly what they're talking about and what lots of people are talking about at that point in time. And the good thing with Twitter, if you follow the correct hashtags and trends, you will see what is trending. And if it's a relevant global event, it tends to pop up. Coincidingly, I also open up my news page. I go to news.com.au uh, for Australia, but you might go to other news websites or financial news websites, for instance, for that sort of news. But generally, what you're looking for is not necessarily the economic related articles. You want to be looking for globally significant events that are occurring during uh, the day or what's ever's occurred throughout the world overnight whilst you've been asleep. Because these can have a very, very big impact on the stock market, even if they do not directly relate to your stocks themselves. So for instance, you would see often that Trump's in the news uh, because he does a 
tweet and it's something silly. And as a result, the US markets crash and all the other markets crash as a result. This might affect your investing decisions or if you're potentially going to make a trade, you might want to jump out because you know the stock market's gonna absolutely plummet because you can see something like that has occurred. And other websites you can go on, I in particular really like CNN. I go in and I look at the futures and I look at what happened overnight on the US markets and other world markets, the currencies, all those sorts of things that are going on. It really doesn't actually take that long. Doing this, a quick scan of all these different things can only take five to 10 minutes. So it's pretty straightforward. You make yourself your cup of coffee or whatever you need in the morning or you're having your brekkie, sit at your computer, you just start flicking through these things and it becomes a habit over time if you get into it on a regular basis and you start to enjoy it as well, which is always helpful. Not only that, you become a lot more informed and understand what affects stocks and the stock market, and in particular, what affects your stocks and the industries they exist in. Now, the next thing I do is I log on to investing forums that allow you to see uh, announcements on the stock market. So I invest on the ASX, the Australian Securities Exchange, and as a result, I use the uh, website Hot Copper. And it's not a plug, I'm not affiliated with them at all, but it's one of uh, the main websites I use. But the best feature is not actually going into the stocks themselves and talking with people on the forums. It is the page that shows announcements. Because what you'll see is, if you're looking for stocks to invest or trade in, you can see what's going on. And you'll also see uh, all the stocks, basically any stock where there's an announcement or a market sensitive announcement, any of that sort of stuff, it'll come up in a big list in the order of when the announcements were released and that sort of thing. And what you can actually look for is other companies which do similar things to you and see how the market reacts to those announcements that occur. And as a result, if you are in an industry, so let's say you're in the mining industry and you're invested in a gold mining exploration stock, and you can see another company's had quite positive drill results, and as a result on open, it looks like pre-market that their shares are going to fly through the roof. That means if you're waiting on a similar sort of announcement within the same period of time, likely something similar is going to occur. So being able to reference peers and other companies which are similar to your industry or fairly identical can be beneficial for your investing decisions going forward. Now, obviously when that's all wrapped up, what I do is I go to work and basically work time is work time. So I'm focusing on that the majority of the time. And what I do is I set alerts on my phone for anything that is of relative importance. So for instance, you would have seen in some of my other videos that I really highly recommend you put alerts on market sensitive announcements on your stocks for your phone. That means you don't have to be watching your stocks all day, especially if you're doing short to medium term type trading. And as a result, you don't have to make any trades or go off and keep monitoring your shares. You can keep doing your day job because effectively what's gonna happen is if something important does occur, your phone's gonna buzz, you're gonna get a notification, and it's gonna tell you exactly on the front page what's happened. So for instance, if I was invested in a stock, I might have put a, um, uh, I might have gone to my watch list uh, and set it so that if the stock hits $1, it hits an announcement or a notification, sorry, on my phone. And basically what that means is, let's say that's the point I wanted to sell my shares at. Uh, I'll just sit there, I'll wait, hits $1, cool, have a look at it, see what's going on. Is the stock keep going up? All right, I might actually watch it. If not, it looks like it's pretty much done and dusted, bang, sell it there on market and that's just one small technique that I use to really monitor every single day what's going on relatively consistently and it also gives me the comfort to know that 
I don't have to watch those shares. I don't need to stress because if something important does happen, I'm going to know straight away regardless. Even if I was a full-time investor or trader, I would still set those announcements up so that they buzz on my phone or on my computer or whatever device that I'm using because you want to receive that information as quickly as possible, as soon as possible, so that you can act in the best and most effective and efficient manner possible to get the best result. Now, what do I do? Then, obviously, I finish up at work and I actually sort of repeat exactly what I did in the morning at night time as well. So I'll log on uh, to the news websites, I'll log on to see the futures uh, and how they've changed for the Dow Jones and the S&P and all those sorts of things. And you can sort of get an indication and preempt exactly what might happen overnight while you are asleep. Obviously, I don't recommend that you focus on this for the entirety of your time outside of work. Once again, it's only a 10 to 15 minute exercise that you perform after work. Simply just sit down, log in onto your computer. You can even do it from your phone and just see exactly what's gone on while you're at work, what are the futures doing, what could happen overnight, and then that puts you in the best position to prepare. And then obviously what you can do is set up notifications and that sort of thing for things that spark your interest, whether that be commodity prices, whether that be the Dow Jones, whether it be a certain share hitting a certain value. This is all very, very beneficial so you know exactly what's going on with the stocks that you're holding at all times. And the beauty of the stock market is if you're trading the local markets, they're not going to be open while you're asleep, so you're not missing out on any information. And even if you do have a full-time job, that means you can effectively pre-plan what you're going to do by getting up in the morning, seeing for 10, 15 minutes exactly what's going on, plan your day, then you can do the same after work as well. So you're not actually taking that much time out of your day. Now, there is also some people I do work with and my friends and whatnot, and I make a point of talking to them and saying, hey, what's uh, on your radar for the day? What have you guys seen on the stock market? And I keep myself informed because Twitter's great. I follow lots of good people on there and good investors and traders, but I also like to hear what's going on with my friends and other people I personally know who invest as well. This is something that I find important because I like to see the sentiment of other people and what other people are thinking, not only with stocks, but just the global environment in general. Now, that's all for today, guys. Let me know down below in the comments section some techniques, some strategies, the routines that you guys use in your day-to-day -day lives, whether you're a full-time trader or investor, or whether you work uh, other jobs, whether you work casually, that sort of stuff. How do you structure your daily routine around your life? It'd be really interesting to find out for you guys. And of course, if you did enjoy this video, please remember to hit the like button. I appreciate it so much, guys. And remember to subscribe for more content. And with that, guys, I hope you have an awesome day. See you next time. Cheers.